headed out to do some work on the trail manor and thought I'd bring you along. So let's get busy. Hi, you. Okay. Hey. I brought my first load out. I've got my comforter, some towels and things. So I'm just going to get you set up in here. And then I'm going to get busy. just a second ago I was going to put stuff away and I found in this cupboard down here under this the microwave stove area there's a cupboard there's a little rack like guy I think I'm going to use that for my spices pot holders and things didn't even know that was in here so yeah I'm gonna throw all my spices in there and I started putting pots and pans and things away down there. Probably gonna go through those again because I may not need all that stuff. But anyway. Put my dishes in there. I may well for right now it's a decent place. Got my bedspread, so I'm gonna run out and get it and I'll be right back. What I planned on doing um, before when I was making the curtains, was taking some of the material. I'll use that material back there. Paisley material, material from the bedroom area and adding a ruffle or a border on this so that everything kind of flows. I may still do that. Um, when I do take off in the trail manor, I plan on taking my sewing machine, machine, I don't know if I'll take one or two, uh, with me. Um, along with some supplies, so that if I decide to do this, I've got the stuff with me. And then I'll bring my pillows out later. Oh, it's a nice squishy bed. Yay! It looks kind of messy. I'm not thrilled with that. I'm kind of a stickler for a bed to be made. Another bedspread that. It's got all these twisty things. Now on a regular bed, it looks pretty good. But on this, it looks a little Not too wild messy. about it. But I have another one that's flat, almost quilt looking like square. So I may, I may swap them out. I'm not fond of that busy mess look. Okay, I gotta, uh, look at this tiny little butcher block. Nice butcher block. It's so small. It's smaller than my coffee pot. <laughs> so yeah, I will put that over here, and I've got some other knives to go in it, and then I just brought in my two favorite cast irons, and I have a lid, so um, they're going to go probably, probably down here. This is a pretty nifty thing. If I ever get an, if I ever get an awning or anything, it's, um, oh. It's a solar light, and it is really, really bright. So this, I thought, if I ever get an awning or something outside, it'd be nice to have a light out there. So, and it's solar. Big glass cable in there. Um, this is a power, a 400 watt power inverter by Whistler. I know that sounded really cool, like I know what I'm talking about, but I have no clue what it is. <laughs> um, I don't know. It plugs into a cigarette lighter, and then it's got regular plugs over here on and off switch. That's about all I know about it. But I figured, I think I've got two of them. I don't know where the other one is. I'm anxious to get on the road, but it's not going to happen for at least another month from today. Oh, and I ordered, um, should be here day after tomorrow, uh, travel I don't know what they're called. They plug into the cigarette lighter and they automatically start recording when you start the car or the truck. 
and they stop recording when you turn it off, and I don't know how long it stays in the video. Uh, Eric from Nomadic Fanatics was uh, talking about his that he got, because he got cut off the other day while he was driving. And then um, Caravan Carolyn, I believe, had one but wasn't using it at the time when uh, Terry and Scott from Destination Open Road, they got clipped by a guy in a U-Haul truck and it totaled their um, truck camper. Completely totaled it. It was, it was horrible. I felt really bad for them. You should check out the channel. Anyway, um, it just helps to have those cameras in case you get cut off or in case there's an accident. I have been putting uh, stuff away, trying to organize, as I told you before. So I'll, I brought you back to show you my progress. All right, well, this stuff back here is where we'll start. Let me turn the light on. Um, this all gets hung up in the kitchen. I'm just waiting for the Velcro for the back of the clock to set. And this clock is going to hook right up here. I don't want to put it up there right now, but yeah, I'm waiting for that Velcro to do its thing. The Happiness is Homemade sign is going to go back there above the curtains. Hopefully it'll fit. With this drawer, which I thought was going to be a problem, but I put all my cooking utensils in here. Just uh, so they're handy when I'm cooking. And then down here, I used this rollout bin for my spices. All my cleaning stuff and extra battery powered um, Lantern. Um, I don't think there's anything. Else. Oh, my first aid kit's under the sink. So I went on the internet, and I think it was called Wish.com, and they had these really neat little drawers. And I'll show you. Put this for the refrigerator, just for you know a little extra space if I need it, because I can always put my taller things like my milk and my water in um, there. These cups and things, I'm gonna hold off. Well, I have to hold off putting them away because um, I have to get some different molly bolts for up there to hook the cabinet that goes up there. And it's under the table right now. Got this area all cleaned off this um, shelf. I have the same thing. It, it goes up there. Well, it's supposed to. Okay, so with this shelf, I was saying... I may have to take these brackets off, I'm not sure yet, and cut it down a little smaller so it doesn't stick out so far, and I think I'd like to put it up here. But I think it sticks out too far from the wall, so if I took, and if I took it off up to here, so it was just a little short shelf, then that the might be better. The other thing that I'm going to ask you suggestions about is this, and this is the first time I've opened it, so doing this together. This is the United States map. Oh, and it's pretty. Look at all those colors. It's really pretty. Oh, I'm glad it's not super huge. Can you see that? Anyway, I, I don't know um, where the best place to put it would be. I don't believe I want it on the inside. Um, there's two pieces to it. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is really pretty. Let me show you. Look at the colors on this thing. Just gorgeous. Really pretty. Like the Vegas, baby. Hollywood. Oregon. Oh, that's a pretty one. Seattle, Washington. Montana. Yeah, really, really pretty, pretty pictures or stickers. Louisiana's pretty. Hold on, let me show you. It's like done up for Mardi Gras. That's pretty cool. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm not sure where to put both below the video in the comment section 
where you think the best place to put it would be. So let's head outside and see where what we got. Okay, so I just I just can't decide. That's why I'm asking you. Um, I don't know if I want my map to be visible while I'm driving. If that's the case, if it's visible when I'm driving, then it has to be above this line um, on the trail manor. It can't be, you know, on this bottom part. If I just want it to show when I'm when I'm parked somewhere, then it would have to go below. So I don't know. You tell me what you think. Maybe I'll set up some sort of a poll on the video. You guys can just fill in your answers. So that's it for today. I'm going to go get myself something to eat, get this video uploaded so I can do some editing. I probably have a lot to do. And I'll, I'll put that um, poll down in the comments area. I think that's where it goes, um, of where to put my U.S. map. So if you guys would join in and help me figure that out, that'd be great. Um, any other ideas, suggestions, comments? Things you think I need, something you think I don't need that I could get out of, get rid of that's in here would be great. Okay, I'm out of here. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment below, and hit that thumbs up for I me. That's it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.